This video is a description of digital blockade using the ring block technique. Before we begin, it's important to consider digital anatomy. Here's a cross-section cartoon of a digit. As you see, there are four digital nerves, two on the dorsal aspect and two on the volar aspect of the finger. Each nerve runs adjacent to a digital artery, which is an important consideration as we contemplate injection within the finger. For my first injection will typically be across the dorsal aspect of the finger, which is the area with the least sensitive skin. I typically use a 27 gauge needle on a 10 cc syringe using an anesthetic such as bupivacaine or lidocaine without epinephrine. The injection will go across the dorsal aspect of the hand. As with any injection, we advance the needle first without injecting, slowly aspirating on the plunger, and we only inject as we withdraw. Then, before removing the needle, I'll simply withdraw it to the skin surface and redirect the needle towards the volar aspect of the finger. By doing this, I'll be able to achieve a second injection, which will get the volar digital nerve on the same side. Again, we'll advance that needle without actually injecting, aspirating as we go, and then only inject as we withdraw the needle. At this point, I'll remove the needle and syringe from the finger and perform the third injection on the other side of the finger. This in theory is an area that's already been anesthetized so this should be less painful for the patient. We'll repeat the technique simply advancing the needle while aspirating and then injecting as we withdraw the needle and perform the final injection on the volar aspect of the hand. Now this is typically the most painful area of injection for the patient which is why we save it for last when that part of the finger has already in theory been partially anesthetized. We'll go across the finger, advancing without injecting, and then as we inject, we pull the syringe back. And by doing this, we've achieved an entire ring of anesthetic around the finger. For this and other techniques in laceration repair, visit lacerationrepair.com.